Here's our continuation, friends. This is Diane Adkins, a, a violin tutor pro, your violin teacher. And this is a continuation of the Bach Double Violin 2, Part 2. And we are um, at the solo part, measure three or so of um, letter D. So if we scan ahead a little bit, we'll see that the, the actual part is in second position. And sometimes uh, at this point in your violin career, second position is a little scary. <laughs> it's scary forever, trust me. Oh, no, it's not really. But you can get this if you plan ahead. You need to look at the eighth notes that come before it and get into position. Now, it's not in my music, so I'm going to play it and see where it is, if I can remember where I do it. Right on the D, right here's an open string. So it's a D, open string is a perfect place to shift the hand. Now I'm in position for the second position um, solo. Shift back. Watch those ones. You got a regular one and then a low one following it. Should be easy enough to get back into second position from here. Stay in position. our bowing again shift down okay so that gets you kind of through that now what we have after that is just a mishmash isn't it of eighth notes that's not my fingering so I'll have to remember my fingering so let's try it okay that's easy a shift right there. Borrowed two. Not borrowed two, sorry. So that's all really nice at the lower half. Let's see, let's go through this back up a little bit again and do that again. Four notes at a time. That's where I shift right there in the second unit of four notes. Shift here. Shift. Be nice to set that one on two strings. music doesn't have any of those up up bows uh, marked but that's how I learned it so I like it okay so that brings us to letter E all right so reviewing uh, plan ahead for the second position segment do the uh, resetting of the bow that follows and take the next measure uh, or two measures uh, right before E the 16th note uh, passage and um, do four note units. And what I like to do is to practice all the notes in one position in that little spot there. And then you can do all notes on one string if you want to do it like that too. That's another um, method of practicing that will help you. But ultimately you will need to memorize this just measure by measure, memorizing every detail. All right, see you in the next video.